I'm Tony and I just want to show you some of the features of this new Trimark square. It's made from aluminium. It's quarter mil thick or six mil. It's been be blasted and anodized and all the marks have all been CNC machined in. What's unique about this square is if you do look on the dial on the uh, figures, we go from 20 to 45 this side, and on this side we go from 70 down to 45. So when the square's in this position, we've got 45 degrees and 45 degrees, which equals 90. Because when we're doing roofs, Right, the numbers between your thumb cut and your seat cut you always want to add to 90. So if we stood the square up this way with a 90 degree angle, these numbers correspond. So if I was to put the arm down 40, come down 140, if I come in one, that's 50, which makes 90. Same again if I come down to 35, which is two down, come in two here. That'd be 55 again. That will give you your 90. I'll explain it a different way. You can see all these numbers here 20 and 70, 90, 25, 65, 90, 30 and 60 is 90, 35, 55 is 90, 40 and 50 is 90. The idea of it is that when we set to a certain pitch, say in this case 40 degrees. When you place the tool on the workpiece or the rafter, you know that when you do this 40 degree plumb cut, you'll know that this will be 50 because you've come in one notch, one notch here is 50. So you automatically know what your plumb cut and your seat cut degree are. And it will also make the bird's mouth, we call that the bird's mouth window. So no matter whatever pitch you set this square to, if it was to go 35, again, set your plump 35, and it set your seat 55. We come up again, up to 35, come up to 55. It's just quite handy to know what your seat cut is because if you need to go more than 45, you can revert and use this for your plumb cut. So, like I say, in this instance, we know this is 35, so that would be 55. So, if we wanted a 55 degree plumb cut, we work on this side. Setting your marks for your roof pitches couldn't be easier. We we're going to do a 40 degree pitch on a rafter, set the tool on, that's your plumb cut. You could mark it that way, slide the square down, wherever, and that's your seat cut. Put your little plum on there for your fascia, and then your bird's mouth will be like 40 to 45 mil on a six inch timber. And you can just slide the square backwards and forwards, give you that mark, and you can adjust the size of the bird's mouth quite easily by just moving the tool backwards and forwards. The other feature it's got. We're doing a lot of roofs obviously you can have to do wall plates for roofs so that's where this little slot comes into play when we're doing pitches this thumb turn sits in this little recess there's a little recess there and that stops that arm from coming out of position 
And you take it out of the recess to get into this slot. And spin his torque the arm right up to the top. And turn it over. And you want to get this bar in the centre of this bar. So you do that quite simply. So you can see this is central to this. And what that's for is when you're doing more plates. That will give you the centre of the timber. So it's quicker to mark your wall plates and also get your square lines through. Very simply and quickly without a lot of fuss. You can also use this arm if you want to do certain. I'll slide that back out of that groove. Let that go back. And you can let this arm. If you've got particular little measurements you need to scribe, you can quite easily do that. The tool runs on the timber. That's a little handy little feature I have. It's nice and thick enough. Run a saw up against because you've got that portal plate. Let's say it's easily adjustable. It's also got hip valley marks here. If you want to use them. So if you're doing angles, it's easier to use. If you need to do a quick square cut, just push the tool straight to the top. And that then allows you. straight lines with a little fuss and that is basically it simple tool for roofing you can also use it for many different applications you can check squares on frames um, yeah I'm sure you'd find loads of uses for this so I hope you found this little video helpful and keep your eye out for the trial mark. Thanks.